now I'm going to handle this question. Find the selling price of an article if a shopkeeper allows two successive discounts of rupees of five percent each on the marked price of rupees eighty. The options are A is seventy point two zero, B is twenty seventy point one zero, C is seventy two, and D is seventy two point two zero. Now, before proceeding with this question, some of you might be confused that MRP is the selling price. Actually, MRP is not the selling price in all cases. See, selling price is the amount I pay for getting an uh, amount I get for selling an article. The amount I receive is my selling price. The amount I pay is my cost price. So, once the amount goes out from me, it is cost. Once the amount comes to me, it is my selling price. All the others are manipulating prices. So, the MRP is nothing but a manipulating price. On this MRP, they gave a discount, and I get an amount that is my selling price. After discount, whatever amount I get is my selling price. So don't get confused with selling price and MRP. Selling price is the amount I get. Cost price is the amount I pay. All the others are manipulating prices. Here, MRP is a sticker price or a manipulating price. The discount is taking place here. MRP is not the selling price. Now, discount. When I come to discount, discount is nothing but reduction. Discount is nothing but I reduce something from some price. So that is discount. So discount is allowed to reduce something. Here it says 80 is the mark price. 80 is the sticker price. 80 is the sticker price. On this 80, I am going to give it discount of 5 percent. So I will reduce 5 percent from this. So the calculation of 5 percent into 5 by 100 into 5 by 100 will be equal to 4. Now from this 80, I will allow to reduce 4. From this 80, I will allow to reduce 4. So 80 minus 4 will be 76. 76 is after having the first discount. Now, some of you might be doing another four rupees here. Don't do like that. Whenever I talk about successive discounts, I will give a discount on this 76 and not an 80 again. See, 76 on the reduced price, I will give a discount of 5% and not on 80 again. Supposing I say I give a dis two discounts of 5% means I will reduce one more four. But here is successive means on the reduced value, I will calculate 5%. So 76 into 5 by 100 will be equal to 3 rupees 80 paise. So the actual price or the selling price will be 76 minus 380 will be 72.20. The answer is 72.20. So this is a simple way of doing it. You will do it only like this. First is allow discount of 5 percent. You will get 76. Again allow discount of 5 percent on this 76. You will get 380 minus 72.20. Those who want to do some sort of a shortcut, see first you know this five percent of eight is four. On this four, you have to again see what happens. I am reducing by four. The effect is it is getting reduced by four. So calculate five percent of four is just twenty paise. Then four minus twenty paise will be three rupees eighty paise. You can simply minus three eighty here. Supposing it is successive gain means I will just add four rupees twenty paise. It will become eighty four twenty. So as far as this is concerned, the answer is seventy two point two zero. So I don't have to do the calculations again. Again, here it is five percent. The working will be easy. Once it becomes complicated working, you can do like this. Keep on following this channel. I will be adding questions every now and then. Whatever doubts you have, you can post it in my channel. And I will be in case you have any new question also, you can post it here. I will try to give video covering of it. Wish you all the best.